Hello, I'm Atubo George and this is a new week and happy new month. Praise God. Now this is a special month. September, the Spirit of God is going to begin a new thing in your life. Listen, you are going to experience His glory. You are going to experience His knowledge. There's going to be growth in your life. You will see physical growth in your life this month praise god because the spirit of god is going to take you by the hand and he is going to lead you so get excited it's a new month and god has a lot in store for you praise god now listen i began last week sharing something with you from the instruction jesus gave in mark chapter 16 from verse 16 from verse 15 to 17 you know jesus gave his disciples instruction this way Part of the last instructions or commands that he gave to his disciples and we're looking at something uh, very important last week which we're going to continue this week because jesus said matthew mark 16 verse 15 and he said to them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned now we talked about all that last week. Praise God. What kind of baptism? What does it mean to be baptized? To be baptized is not to be baptized with water. To be baptized means to be baptized in the Holy Ghost because that is the baptism Jesus came to give us. And then we talked about baptism of fire also. It's not for you. So quit saying, Oh Lord, baptize us with your fire. No. Is God. No, 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 no. If you are referring to fire from this scripture, he is not talking about you. He is talking about the lake of fire. See? Now that's where God is going to cast out all those he doesn't know. Remember Jesus said on that day, many will come and say, we did many things in your name. He said, I don't know you. Get out of my sight. Now all those people will be cast into the lake of fire. See, now that's the second baptism that Jesus is going to come to execute. Now that is at his second coming. Do you understand that? Now that's why, remember in, in, in Luke chapter 14, when Jesus started his ministry, he opened the book of Isaiah and then he was reading Isaiah 61. And then he got to a place and he stopped. And the Bible says he closed the book. See, he stopped at where the Bible says, where Isaiah prophesied and says, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. The moment he said that, he closed the book. But when you go to Isaiah, you will notice that in that same, the, what follows that statement, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and the year of, the day of vengeance of our God. Now, why didn't Jesus read that day of vengeance of our God? Because it was not time to fulfill that, see? Today is the day of salvation. Now, that's what he came to tell us. Now, to enforce that salvation, he, he is baptizing those who believe with the Holy Ghost. You understand that? Now, that's why Jesus, when in the book of Acts chapter 1, when he was leaving, he told his disciples, you are going to be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from now. Now, many people think fire baptism was what happened on the day of Pentecost. No, 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 no. You see, but the Bible says there was a clo tongues of fire, cloven tongues like, like fire. Notice he says cloven tongues like fire. That's not fire. Prophecy, when John was prophesying, he wasn't playing with words. When he said he will baptize you with fire, it means he will dip you inside fire. So when the Bible now says cloven tongues like of fire, or sat upon each of them, upon, that doesn't look like baptism. See, someone sprinkles water on your head, it's not baptism. Baptism, the word baptism means to be dipped into. Praise God. Now then, he said, verse 17, And this sign shall follow them that believe. So, how do I know you have believed? It's not because you say you have believed. No. He says, I'm sh I should look out for this sign. And the first sign he says, in my name they shall cast out devils. When I see you casting out devils in the name of Jesus, not through some um, other means, see? When, when, when I see you developing that boldness against demonic spirits, when I see you stand, say, I don't understand, wait a you know, I used to have this thing, you know, somebody chased me in the night or people attacked me. You know, the, the usual one. People, are, they were pressing me in the night. Now, the day you believed in Jesus Christ, that ought to stop. You see, 
Really? Yes, it ought to stop. Because you have been given authority. You have been given boldness. The Spirit of God in you resists every demonic oppression, every demonic oppression around you. Anywhere you see a demon operate, there's a holy anger that will come from inside of you. You will take action. So, wait, wait. When I see you taking that action, I know this guy has believed. Because no man can teach you to do that. Only the Spirit of God in you can propel you to do that because he, he is the spirit of God and he doesn't operate in the same environment as the devil so we are here to resist the influence of the devil now if you have believed that's your number one assignment everywhere you see the devil operating you cast him out praise God I've got to stop here but I'm going to continue tomorrow so stay tuned God bless you. Have a wonderful week ahead. And remember, this week, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, our program Sound the Alarm is coming up. Plan towards it if you're in the city of Abuja. Or, 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 or register, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can receive notification and you can watch online if you're not in Abuja. Praise God. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.